Hi, it's John Carlini again, and here's another in our series of quick guitar tips. There, if, if you saw my first uh, example of how of playing blues using just the tritone, and the one chord, the four chord, the five chord, and the one chord, and the fact that uh, you can play the root with your index finger if the root is on the sixth string, and with your third finger if the root is on the fifth string, just as a review. Okay, what that implies is that this is G7, right? The root on the sixth string, but there's also a G7 with the root on the fifth string. And you move all the way up here until you can put your third finger on G, which is on the 10th fret, and there's your G7 chord. And the tritone is still the tritone, but what happens is the, the, the functions flip when it's down here, you have flat seven and three. When you move it up here, you have three and flat seven, okay? G7, G7, C7, C7. So, you understand? So that um, here's, here's, going, here's your C7 chord with the root on the fifth string. If I move up till my index finger goes on the sixth string, there's C7 on, with the root on the 6th string. And then D7 is going to be two frets higher. You can use that to your advantage because now you can play G7, blues. I'm just going to abbreviate the form here to G. Now, let's say I want to create some interest. I can do it up here. G. See, the four chord is still going to be a half, a one fret away, down. Just like the four chord is one fret down here, it's just, it's one fret down here too. And the five chord is one fret above the one chord, the same as it is down there. So you have G. See, I'm just using three notes you don't need any more and we do it down here that creates two areas of interest so you don't have to play the same thing over and over again and that's what it's all about it's about expanding your chord vocabulary and things that you can do so you don't have always have to rely on the same chord structure okay think about that and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.